Hi, I'm Carolina. I'm a Colombian visual artist. I currently work as a BFX artist, art director, and makeup artist. I love films and going to the movies. I watch every genre, but I definitely feel a connection with the ones involving creatures, zombies, and monsters because of the, of the specific needs they have in character design. Throughout my career, I realized that I love staging, especially makeup, costume design, and art direction, since they give me a possibility to add details. The script itself, it's not able to narrate. I consider myself a cruelty-free, self-taught makeup artist, and since everything I've learned has been very DIY, I encounter real-life struggles with materials and techniques. I want to attend the CMS because there I will learn and be able to overcome the struggles I find as a pro makeup artist to be. Because here we don't have any big or specialized makeup academies and I think this weakens the industry itself and stop its growth. For my character, I chose Immortan Joe from Mad Max Fury Road. I also decided I would be my own model since it would be an even harder challenge to fulfill. Since it was a post-apocalyptic scenery, I decided I would use recycled materials to accessorize the costume. I added soda bottle lids, chains and electronic waste I was finding along my way in the city. These are the military badges. For the mask, I bought a cheap Guy Fox mask, a washing machine hose and some water tube endings from a hardware store and screwed around endings to the mask. Then I started adding cold porcelain and modeling the details. I let it dry and painted everything with a silver spray paint, except for the horse teeth which were hand painted. I also thought about making a parallel about Mad Max context on the movies and something I could relate to nowadays in my country, where there is a place called La Guajira where the kids from an indigenous tribe are starving and dying without water. They are called the Wajus, and in their beliefs they blame a goddess called Pulowi of their lack of water. Her appearance resembles a snake. Finally, to give it a twist and emphasize the punk side of the original character's influence, since I am into punk and hardcore music, I decided to add some of my own personal style with a bullet and a bondage belt, DM's high boots, and my biker. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in LA.